Hi everyone, so I did my cultural research on the LGBTQ community. Um, there are just a few ways that I'm going to explain to you what you need to learn to effectively communicate well with the culture, which is the LGBTQ community. So the first thing is pronouns. Um, pronouns are really important because it is a form of identification for the culture. Um, that is how they identify themselves. That's how that's how they like want to go by and be perceived as. I think it's very important, and I can tell that it's just a form of identity that um, needs to be um, part of who they are and how you need to communicate with them. There are some examples that I have that I'm going to tell you that are considered pronouns for the LGBTQ community. So the first one is he, him. The second one is she, her. And the third one is they, them. Um, those are all forms of pronouns that the LGBTQ community goes by. For example, my interviewee, the one that I've been studying all quarter, his name is Jax, and he, his pronouns are he, him, they, them. He used to be going by the pronouns she, her, they, them, but they recently changed their name and they changed their pronouns as well so that's now what they go by um it's important to go by the pronouns so that you are not misgendering someone from the community it's very easy to misgender um i think a lot of judgment is passed because people assume just because someone has got a set of breasts on them that they are a girl which is totally not true just because that person had breasts on them does not mean that they identify as a girl. So, I think it's important to understand the pronouns, get used to the pronouns, get used to saying them because they're not going to change and they're going to be around because that's who that person is and that's how they identify themselves, is with the pronouns. So, the pronouns are very important. It's also, like again, very important not to misgender them because um, it's very hurtful and it just shows as lack of respect um the next thing is kind of wrapped up into one so that would be also to as we talked about before you need to obey the pronouns disobeying the pronouns means that you are misgendering misgendering is wrong um When you misgender someone from the LGBT community, they can, and then you do it like repeatedly, like, oh, she needs to go do this when really they identify as he, and you do that repeatedly, the LGBTQ community person of that culture is going to take that really offensive, and they're going to assume that you don't care about what they have to say, and we don't want to do that. Um, we are 100% pro-LGBTQ, so... We're going to go by the pronouns and we're going to at least call them by what they want to be called because that's the least we can do is be respectful. Um, I'm going to now talk about um, misgendering. So um, misgendering someone from the LGBTQ community, unfortunately it happens pretty often. It happens more often than we think. Um, if you were to misgender someone from the LGBTQ community, it's important to um, it's important to correct yourself and move on from the situation. So, for example, if I came up to Jax and I was like, "Hey, girl, what's up?" Even though he identifies as a he and not a she, I'm going to immediately correct myself. So it would go like, "Hey." Hey girl, I mean, hey dude, what's up? Like, you just correct yourself immediately. Boom, boom. It's pretty easy. Correct yourself immediately and move on from the situation. It's not Jax's fault that I couldn't remember his pronouns. So, it's time for me to get it together and show that I am respectful of the culture and that I'm willing to communicate effectively with Jax. And that includes getting the pronouns right. I'm pretty sure um, in our interviews, he he could not express that enough he's been misgendered too many times to count on hands fingers and toes so um misgendering was a really big thing for him and i'm pretty sure it's big for the whole community as well um 
and I think that's it. Um, the LGB I learned a lot from the LGBTQ community, and I hope you guys did too, just from the two little um, sources I was able to spout off at you. And pronouns are a thing, and misgendering is a thing, so please be aware, show awareness to others, and let's be educational. Thanks.